Thank you. Thank you, Kenneth Williams. A good, good evening. Welcome once again to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hi. It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Wassel family. Holly. Ed. Jack. And Louise. Ready for action. Playing against the Williams family. Roy. Cheryl. Alelia. And Edwin. On your mark. Let's start the Family Feud! Here is the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson! Thank you very much. Welcome to one hour edition of The Feud. Fun for me because we get to meet families that were on the original Feud with me and uh, they're back here now. That's kind of exciting. Good news, by the way, uh, Dan Quayle, he was in, had an operation for, had his appendix removed. He's fine. Everything is great. He, he's uh, renting a house near the hospital. He doesn't want to be too far away. He says he's hoping for a a donor organ, and um, we're going to have a tremendous time, I tell you. Will you please help me welcome the Wassals! Whoa, whoa, whoa! And you're looking good. I feel fine. 1978. 1978. How much did you win? A little over $17,000. Whoa! What a way to do it. Let's meet the gang, please. Okay. This is my first wife, Polly, okay. of 52 years. 52 years. One <laughs> mother of five. Okay, welcome. My daughter, Louise, mother of four. Uh, house uh, teacher, homeschooler, and a registered nurse. Okay. And my son-in-law, Jack Kojak Kuczynski. <laughs> and he's in real estate, television production, and had a talk show on the radio. Did he really? Right. Well, you've done a great... Great job at introducing them all. Give them a nice round of applause. They did a great job. Well, it's hard. You've got to remember all those things. Yeah. It's a good I, break. I, I'm a little older, too. I'm proud of you. You did a great job. 52 years? Right, right. Wonderful. That's wonderful. wonderful. It is wonderful. I'm <laughs> delighted you're here. Thank you. Nice it's to see you. It's sweet that he was just, he wanted to mention all the things. All of my qualities. Everything. I see. <laughs> well, there was wonderful. I think it was great. Good to see you again. Right, now, is this a picture? This is our good luck picture from 78. Goodness me. This is when these rascals were on here. And it, it must have worked. They took us for 17 days. You bet. Good to have you here. All right, good to see you. Here are the challenges. 1979, a good year. The Williams family. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Roy. Yeah. Hi, you're looking yeah. good. Here. Did you win any kind of money from us at all? Did yeah, you? we won about $1,500. Okay. Yeah. We can yeah. do a little better than that well, today. Also, also. Ma'am, meet the gang, please. Yes. I have my lovely mother, Lilia. She's a retired school teacher. Hi, my angel. And my sister, Cheryl. She's also a school teacher. Hi. Hello. And Hello. my handsome brother, Evan. He's also a school teacher. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you here. What do you do, Rob? Huh? I'm a recreation regional superintendent. Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. Yeah. People that love kids, they're all teachers and work hard. We're delighted you're back here. Great to be Let's here. Let's have some fun, okay? All right, all right. All right. You know. Never thought we'd be here playing the feud again, and here we are. Good to have you here. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Twenty-five hundred dollars. Come on, play the back row game. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wish you each other luck. This is a little different than when we played it. We bought twenty-five hundred dollars. The very least you'll play for. Three questions here worth varying amounts of money. We can really build up the bankroll. Uh, first question is worth $500. Just looking for the number one bankroll answer. Here's the question. How do you know when a dog wants to go outside? Yes, sir. Barks. Barks! No. Scratches Roy. at the door. Scratches? Scratches at the door. Scratches at the door? Yeah! You pop the money, and the very least you'll play for is $3,000. This is worth $1,000. 
$500, this question. Tell me a game that people play in a bar. Yeah. Uh, poker. Poker? Yeah. No, Jack. I'd say darts. Darts? Yeah. Very good, very good, very good. That's the answer, 4,000, very least you'll play for. Last bankroll question, worth $2,500. Name a character from the original television show, Star Trek. Yeah. Captain Kirk. Captain Kirk. Uh, no. Spock. 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 Uh, Four thousand. Okay. Win them. Fifty-five hundred dollars. To get it, they got to win the series. Spock beat Kirk by a hair. We'll be back right after this. It's got two of the great old timers right here. Great families. Play the few right here. Wish each other luck. Three hundred's the magic number. Whichever family gets to three hundred will play for all the money in their bankroll. One hundred people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question: Name the worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Love. Fall out of love. Two answers, Ed could be car. Ed fell out of a car. All right, you got it, you got control. What's the worst thing, my angel, that you ever fallen out of? A car. We've got a car up oh. there. That's all right. A uh, door. Out of a door? Okay. Yeah, good door! Uh, no. So, fall out of something, what? Well, a swing. A swing. Oh, beautiful. Look, look, look. A swing. Uh, no. I'm in shock. <laughs> Truly, I thought that was good. I thought it was a number one end. Edwin, worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Worst thing you've ever fallen out of. Um, let's say a job. Job? Okay. Yeah. Is there all right? If not, third track. A job. Uh, no. Look how quickly I can't say. How about bed? Oh, good, good bed. Yeah, you got a great bed. one. What bed. bed. Have you ever fallen out of bed? Have you ever fallen out of bed? Tell me the I truth. I don't know if I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I hope you have it. Did you have? If it's there, you got it. If not, you're on the board. Bed! Yeah! I want to make like a tree house. One way. Three. I was hipper. I said a tree house. <laughs> Four. <laughs> I've done that too. There's nothing to be proud of. I just want you to know I'm the in crowd. We'll be back. <laughs> right. I want to know how this turns out. To do that, I'm going to need your sweet Polly and Amelia. There you go. Wish each other luck. All right. We've got to get on the board here, Don. They have 46 points. Whoever gets 300 plays for the money. 100 people, point values, by the way, are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top five answers are on the board. Here's the question. If someone used the word jam, what might that person be talking about? Yes. Uh, in a, a problem, having a problem. Oh, they're in, they have a problem. Problem? Three answers could be the problem. Uh, Someone used the word jam. What might the person be talking about? Music. Music. <laughs> Number one. If we ever meet up here again. Oh, did I do it wrong? Well, no, I just want you to know what happened because yeah, when you watch this tape, you'll say, what the hell happened? I, I definitely yeah, hit but... first. You... You brought your hand from here. <laughs> you didn't hit this guy. <laughs> you hit that. Okay, I just wanted you to know, otherwise, because you know that you thought, I know I hit first, but, but you're still here. We're winning the money here, right? Someone used the word jam. What might that person be talking about? Jelly. Okay. A little jelly play. Sure. Okay, Jack. I would say 
is sitting out there in the freeway in the traffic. <laughs> traffic jam! Yeah! Okay. We have no strikes yet, and we have only one answer left. Someone used the word jam. What might that person be talking about? About a jam session. Yeah. Well, that would be... That would be music. Music. Oh, okay, really... yeah. Oh, That's up there because Polly gets huh? Yeah. What other uh, thing might they be talking about, eh? I hate to say this, but oh. there's such a thing as toe jam. There is. <laughs> So take a look. A man of your age. Uh, toe jam! Oh, Not there, Polly, please. I thought I'm going to try. I thought All sure right. try. Let me think. Well, you uh, gave me the number one. I know. I need, the, I need the number five. All right, exactly. You're right there. I want to use the word jam. What might the person be talking about? Trap? No, it's thought. That's okay. Two strike. I have an answer. I don't think it'll you be there. Journal of American Medicine. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa! That is very hip. I could think of. <laughs> well, that is marvelous. It should be there. Right? If it's there, you got it, my love. Journal of American Medicine. <laughs> no, but Louise, that was a great answer. Have you got it? Door jam. Door jam. Door jam. Door jam. Door jam. Something people use the word jam. What might they be talking about? Roy the buzzer went. Door jam. 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 Well, when they jam a ball, they jam. You know what I mean? All right, we're just asking. No good testing. Two, 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 nothing. Let's go. Come on. This is going to luck. We're going to do it. I'm going to get on the board right now. Point values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers on the board. Here's the question Tell me a place where you may have to sit next to someone you don't know. Yeah. In an airplane. An airplane! Yeah. Journal of American Medicine. Place yeah. you might have to sit next to someone you don't know. My turn. <laughs> well, if you're going to sit in the airplane, I would think on the bus. All right. <laughs> is good. Now, what do you think, Ed? I'd say, uh, theater. Sure. Theater? Yeah. Oh, boy. Holly, yeah. you may have to sit next to someone you don't know. In church. Mm -hmm. Church! church. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, In the doctor's office. Okay. Yeah. In the doctor's office. Well, it comes down to me, and that's what I was thinking. Well, but you have no problem. You have no strikes up. There's only one answer left. Plus, you may have to sit next to someone you don't know. That's a tough one. I'll say, I don't know if it's up there, but the only thing I can think of is the park. Park? All right. You might have to sit next to a bum. <laughs> Well, enough about me. <laughs> the park! No, first shot. All right. No problem. I got two, and I oh, don't know which one. we need one now. <laughs> so I'm going to say the subway. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A place you may sit next to someone you do not know, Ed said, and if he's right, you'll be the champ. Subway! <laughs> no. Okay, two strikes, Polly. To the rescue. At a party. At a party. A all right, answer. my love. If it's there, you got it all. If not, get ready to steal. Party! Come on, we can get in this game, gang. 
Place. Place where you have to sit next to someone you don't know. Which I train. A train? Or that would be the same. Same as subway. subway. All right. Oh, don't give me train. Boat. Well, I need an answer. I need an answer. Boat. Boat. Dennis off. Boat. Boat. If the boat's there, you're in the game. If not, you'll play for the big money. Boat. like the ball game or something. I'm sorry you didn't do it, but I thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you buddy. Ball game, I can't oh, believe it. Yeah. Okay, Gavin. Love you. I need two people. Well, Jack is sweet to leave. Number play for $4,000 right after we watch the Congratulations. Well done. Sorry, I, I love Jerry. All right, you ready? There we are. Last time I was here, 1978. And now we're playing for $4,000, Louis. Jack cannot hear us. He's off stage. Clutching the good luck photo, I hope. <laughs> Should we give him a nice surprise? Get a big score. I'll try. 20 I'll try seconds on the clock, please. Time will start, my love, when I finish reading the first question. You know we wish you luck. Name something parents save from their children's school days. Report cards. What color do you look best in? Blue. Something women buy to make their hands look good. Uh, cream. A city in California. Los Angeles. A place you'd see people eating peanuts. At the um, baseball game. Turn around. Oh, like a steamroller. Great answers. Okay. Wonderful. I think parents save from their children, school day. She said report card. I've not been able to save any from my sons, Gary or Mark, because they destroyed them all before. <laughs> I mean, where's your report card, Gary? Ah, uh, they didn't give us one this year. <laughs> where's yours, Mark? Ah, uh, the floods. <laughs> but were there good things on it? Yeah, sort of. <laughs> Who's that over here? Look. See if he's blushing. <laughs> he's covering his face. <laughs> yes. Here's my son, Gary. Went to school. Twelve years. Never brought a report card home in twelve years. He'd say you have to trust, you know, trust between mums and dads, children. Please. I, I said, all right, I'll trust him. I found out later he never went to school. <laughs> So he was perfect for uh, television. Jimmy! <laughs> 45. <laughs> what color do you look best in? He said blue. Jimmy said. Oh, Whoa. yeah. <laughs> and then you, women buy to make their hands look good. And you said cream or lotion, right? Jimmy said. Whoa. Wow. You got one, 17. <laughs> City in California. It is at the moment. <laughs> Waiting for the big rains. L.A., you said. Survey said! Come on. Yeah. Oh, I like this. Place you'd see people eating peanuts. You said, take us out to the... Ball game. Ball game. <laughs> if it's worth 34 points, you've got the money. And we'll never see your husband again. <laughs> He's oh, over there. He's just, well, maybe, well, maybe you can, you know, pay us some money and we'll let him go. Survey said, let it be a win. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Here we go. All along. All along. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. Number one answer. Congratulations. Thank you. They won four thousand dollars. We'll be back right after it. Wonderful. Look, the four cards: blue, hand cream, LA, and the ball cut. Right.
Since, since I've returned, since I've returned on the feud, it's only been done one other time, and that wasn't done with all number one answers. You're the original, so I'm going to give you your report card. <laughs> this is, we don't get these out normally, we keep them in our files. You gave me every number one answer, sweet Louise. You see, I'm your teacher. A hundred out of a hundred, and I'm very proud of you. Wonderful. Guys, you will hold that for me? All right. Now, if you had a great time here, stick around. We've got a special. The Battle of the American Gladiators. Coming up next. We love you. Red Tom.